Good morning, everyone. My name's Senior Sergeant Meg Burke, and I'm the coordinator at the New South Wales Police Recruitment Branch. We're here today to film one of our physical capacity testing sessions. We're doing this because at the moment we are not allowed to run our PCT practice sessions. Normally we hold these a couple of times a month on a Saturday. But unfortunately, due to the restrictions placed on us by the coronavirus, we can no longer do that. So we thought the best thing to do is to film a session for you and then you can watch it at leisure, in your own home, wherever it suits. Obviously, we're in difficult times at the moment in terms of this coronavirus. So as police officers and as part of our testing procedures, we are obviously practicing social distance and very good clean hygiene habits. So we would recommend to any of you at home, particularly if you're using equipment out in a park or if you are still doing personal training, make sure you adhere to these restrictions. It is very important. We'll take you through all of the six tests today. Um, you will get to see a demonstration and you will actually get to see the testing underway. I would encourage anybody who has any questions after watching this video to contact our branch on 1800 222 122 or if you have any other questions or if you're just interested in terms of physical capacity testing, we do have some videos on our website, which again, would encourage everyone to take a look at. It's very important, both physically and mentally, to keep your fitness going. Um, and at this particular time in our lives, where it is very challenging, really, really important. So we really hope you enjoy the video today and um, you may feel like going for a run afterwards, doing some push-ups, doing some sit-ups, most of which you can do in the comfort of your own home. Enjoy and thanks. So once you've dropped your bag, just come back inside. Keeping two arms length, go through. All right, let's get started. So briefing. My name's Meg Burke. Um, I'm a senior sergeant, the coordinator at the New South Wales Police Recruitment Branch. Today you've got Sergeant Nathan Maxwell up at the back who um, is filming. We're filming this session because we can't do any more practice physical testing sessions. So we're filming today so that everyone can have a look at this online. Um, pretty much how the world's going at the moment, like same as classrooms, you name it. So um, there is gonna be a camera around today. I've also got Senior Constable Simon Thorne, Senior Constable Jamie Sivko, Senior Constable Michael Paul, Senior Constable Nathan Inwood. All of us are from the police recruitment branch. We obviously work out of headquarters here at Parramatta, where you guys will be going back to today to do your psych testing as well. All right, um, but for the purposes of today, as I've explained, we are going to split you again um, into two groups. Half of you will go outside and do your testing and half of you will stay inside, just so that we can limit the amount of exposure um, and people in the same area. For the purposes of today, um, you've got six physical capacity tests that you have to undertake, all right? That will consist of a hover, plank, bridge, whatever you want to call it, all right? That will be the first test that we do. Then you'll head down and you'll do your vertical jump test. Then you'll come back, do your push-ups, you'll do your agility, then you'll do your hand grip, and the last test of the day, you'll all come back together and you'll do your beep test, all right? If you've trained and you've trained reasonably hard, then you won't have a problem at all today passing these tests. If you don't get through today, um, and you will know because we will tell you at the time what, um, what your score is, and you will know. If you don't get through today, don't despair. Uh, we do have some programs available and um, Senior Constable Paul will actually hand those out to you at the end. So if anyone needs something to do with hand grip or cardiovascular fitness, anything, push-ups, we have programs available for you. So please just let us know and we will, we will give you a program for whatever might be your weakness today. Um, we do ask that you respect everyone's space today. If you're inside doing your testing, just try and keep the noise down a little bit. Uh, it does get quite loud in here. And we ask that you stay in your strict groups as you are now, um, so that when we take the scores, we can actually uh, get them written down and we've, we've got some kind of order about the day. 
as I said previously, it probably won't take too long because we don't have a large group. We've chopped the group down so that um, we didn't have as many people. We do ask that if anyone injures themselves or starts to feel sick or anything like that, that they report that to one of the instructors. If for some reason there is a medical emergency, we will cease all testing and we will ask that you remain where you are and we will sort out the situation that's at hand. We are all advanced first aid trained. So all of the instructors in here have an advanced first aid training. We have a defibrillator and oxygen on hand today as well, plus a fully equipped first aid kit. So if anything were to happen, hopefully it won't, we are well equipped. And of course, if it is a serious, um, a serious incident, then we will contact ambulance if need be, but hopefully we won't get to that. Um, if anybody has any questions throughout the day, just put your hand up. Try not to yell out too much if you can avoid it. Uh, we will be giving you a demonstration of each test before you do the test. So it's not like you're coming in cold. We, have, we don't expect you just to look at the videos online and then come and um, conduct your testing today. We will show you, one of the instructors will actually show you what you have to do and talk you through it. <coughs> Excuse me, it's not hard work. So we've been through the tattoo thing. What we are going to do is we are going to come and do a tattoo inspection though, because we do that. So we're going to just get you one group at a time to stand up. We're just going to get you to pop your hands out for us like this. If you've got any jewelry that's blocking your fingers or your wrists, we are going to ask that you move that back. Nobody has any caps on. Girls, if you've got hair hanging down, we're just going to ask you to pop your hair up so that we can see the back of your neck. Um, as I said before, if anybody wants to declare anything, should have been declared by now. So unfortunately, if you don't adhere to the policy, <coughs> your application is going to be withdrawn and you will be sent home today. All right, guys. So first test of the day is the hover, the plank, the bridge. The reason that we do this test is because as police officers, you are going to be wearing a lot of gear, carrying a lot of gear. Although we now have thigh holsters and we have load bearing vests, you'll still at some point, obviously be wearing a gun belt. You'll be jumping in and out of cars, jumping, leaping tall buildings, um, doing lots of things. So your core fitness is really important, all right? Hence why we do a 90 second hover. Mick's going to demonstrate for you. So all we're asking is that you have a nice flat back, as you'll notice from Mick, from his neck down to his feet, nice flat back. He hasn't got his bum up. He hasn't got his hips down too low. He's got neutral head and neck and feet nice and close together, okay? The wider you have your feet, the better the base of stability. So we ask that you have your feet together. You have to hold that for 90 seconds, okay? That's it, a minute and a half of your life. If you go a little bit further today, like if you choose to go longer, that's fine. We'll record your result. We're not gonna let anyone really probably venture too much past three minutes. Um, that's obviously showing an, an incredible core stability. But for the purposes of today, 90 seconds is what you need to do. What we're going to get you to do is when you come out in your groups, and we're going to do group one first, we're going to get you to put your towel down. Um, make sure that you take into account slipping and things like that. So get yourself right, get yourself set up. We won't jump straight into it. We'll give you time to set yourself up. There'll be a, a direction from myself or Mick, three, two, one, up. Then you go up into that position and that's where you hold it for 90 seconds. No moving around. So if you're in the test and you start to shake or you start to move like this, we're going to, we'll stop it. Okay, um, if your bottom comes up or your hips come down too much and your form's not sticking, basically, then again, we'll ask you to finish the test. Next test of the day, guys, is the vertical jump test. Okay, so you see the apparatus set up, set up here. Senior Constable Paul is gonna demonstrate again. The reason that we do this test as part of our battery of physical capacity tests to join the New South Wales Police Force is because we need to gauge your strength in terms of your quads, your hamstrings and your glutes, all right? So big, powerful muscles. So you're basically going to be jumping and showing us what strength you've got. As I said before, a job, a day in the life of a police officer, you never know what you're going to do. So you might be needing to jump a fence, you might be needing to crawl under something, um, you might get into a tackle with someone, and a lot of the time you're using your legs. So strength is really important. So make sure that after today that you go away and you keep practicing your running, your strength training, your resistance training and whatever you might be doing for all of the muscle groups involved in all of the testing today. What we're gonna to get you to do is, first things first, 
Whatever your strong hand is, we're going to ask you to put a glove on that hand, all right, so that we don't have anyone touching the apparatus. As Mick's doing here, he's lining up. His strong hand is his right hand. We are going to register his reach height. Okay, so Mick's coming up. We know what his reach height is. We're going to get him to just step away slightly. We ask that you don't absolutely smash the apparatus, okay? All you need to do, and you'll see Mick do it in a minute, is basically just jump up and tap the tab, all right? We will measure the distance between your reach height and your jump height, and as long as it's 30 centimetres, it's all good, all right? So Mick's going to jump away, and there we go. Absolutely no problems at all. So he's cleared at least 40, 45 centimetres. So, next test, push-up test. Very easy, all right? I'm sure you've all watched the videos on our website. It shows you exactly how we want push-ups done. Mick is going to demonstrate for us. For the purposes of recruitment testing, you can do push-ups on your toes or your knees. What you need to be mindful of is when you go to the police academy, push-ups will be done on your toes, all right? So you need to do 25 push-ups. If you choose today to do them on your knees, that's totally a matter for yourself. If you do them on your toes, again, matter for yourself. You must do 25. You can't swap halfway through, so you can't start by doing them on your toes and then move to your knees. Whatever you start in, you finish in. Is that clear? Again, with this test, if you wish to go, if you wish to do more than 25 push-ups and you're doing the proper cadence, so the proper timing with the instructor, and if your form's good, we'll let you keep going. Don't forget, you've still got another four tests to do as well today. All right? Okay, so first things first, Mick's gonna do his knees. He's got his feet crossed at the back, his feet are off the ground. And the whole thing about the push-up is the depth. So watch how low Mick comes. His nose is nearly touching the ground. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so down and up. If I wanted to, I could almost put a box in between his arms because he's got that nice 90 degree angle, all right? So that's what it's all about. Low and slow. As I said before, you're on the count of the instructor, all right? Not up to you guys to count, we're gonna be counting. Same concept with the toes. If you're doing them on your toes, bear in mind, Mick's also got his gun belt on as well today. So he's got another, you know, eight or nine kilos around his waist. So nice form, down and up. Thanks, Mick. All right. So it's all about the depth because what we are assessing here is the strength you've got in your pectoral muscles, in your chest muscles. All right. Again, heaving yourself up over walls and things like that. Really important. So the easiest way to practice a push-up is to do a push-up. All right. All the gyms are closed at the moment. So it's not like we're going to be getting on our pec machines and doing our bench presses. You can do that at home, I guess. But, you know, get up in the morning, 50 push-ups before you have breakfast. Get home at night before you go to bed, 50 push-ups. Simple. Anyone got any questions? Basically, again, as part of your policing duties, once you all become police officers, because I have total faith in you that you will, you will find Again, a day in the life of a police officer that you might be running in and out of you know, buildings. You might be running in between cars. So there is a certain amount of agility that you need to prove as part of your physical test today. This test must be done in 20 seconds or less. All right, you will all walk it in, I have no doubt. If you just watch Mick, this is the starting position. He has wiped the floor. Is anyone here part of a surf club? Yeah, so if you've done flags or anything like that and you've had your face in that nice, hot, soft sand, basically your start is the elbows down, chin down, both feet on the floor, and then the instructor will say, go. He comes up. He's just going to go through in slow-mo for you. He touches the yellow line here. He goes back down to the witch's hat. In and out. Do not touch the witch's hat. If you touch the witch's hat, unfortunately, game over. You will get a second attempt, though. All the way around, he comes back up to the yellow line here. His foot touches that line. He runs back through the witch's hats, all right? The important things you need to remember, as I just said, don't touch the witch's hats. Come in nice and tight, but don't touch the witch's hat. Foot must be on or over the line, okay? If you fall short, we'll stop you. You will get a second attempt on this test though, all right? So don't stress. So just make sure you're touching those lines. Go as quickly as you can. You might find the surface is a little bit slippery, um, but my, most of you won't, you won't even notice, all right? If you've got shoes that possibly don't have great grip, you might feel it a little bit. 
Anybody got any questions? As I said, 20 seconds or less, all right? You've got plenty of time to do it. All right, going well, guys. What's that, four from four? Yep, good stuff. Everyone's going really well. They're great scores on the agility too, very fast. All right, next test of the day is the hand grip strength test. All right, so don't be nervous about this one. We're going to be using an apparatus which is called a dynano, dynano, little, dynamometer. <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful. Um, basically, we're measuring the strength in your right hand and the strength in your left hand. For the purposes of today, you need to achieve 30 kilograms in each hand. When you get to the police academy, however, you'll need to get 35 kilos, all right? So if you're between 30 to 35 today, you need to go away and you need to do a little bit more strength work. As I said at the beginning of the briefing, if you need one of our programs, we've got a specific hand grip program here, all right? So we can give you one of those sheets if you struggle. I don't think any of you will though. Sometimes before you do the hand grip strength test, it's not a bad idea just to do a couple of push-ups, just to get the blood flowing through the, the forearms, the chest, the muscles, um, matter for yourself. We are gonna get you to wear gloves today because of the restrictions that are placed on us. It's already been tested by one of the instructors, so you will have absolutely no problems with the fact that you're wearing gloves. It will have absolutely no issue with the test, all right? We'll give you some hand sanitizer at the end. So just remember 30 kilos, Mick will come along, right hand first, then your left hand. If for some reason you don't achieve the required score, the first attempt, we will give you a second attempt at this test, okay? Any questions from anyone at all? So if Mick were actually to demonstrate this test for you, right hand first, this is exactly how you need to be. Squeeze as hard as you can, register your score onto the left hand. All right, we're just gonna give you a quick briefing. The other groups are still finishing off, so um, we'll keep you guys so that you don't get cold, keep your heart rates up and whatnot. So last test of the day is the beep test, all right? Multi-stage fitness test, shuttle run. I'm sure all of you here have done one before, or if not, you've heard about it. You will see that we've got witch's hat set up here, witch's hat set up down at the back, all right? That's a distance of 20 meters from here to here. That's how long the test is. The beep test is a test of your cardiovascular fitness, all right? Obviously a very important part of policing because you are going to be requiring it at some stage throughout your career. Everyone should be running, all right? Everyone should be running here between at least five to 10 kilometres. When you get to the police academy, you'll be doing a fair bit of running. You'll be doing rope running as a group. Um, you'll be doing hills training, you'll be doing gradient training. You'll be training in the gym, not so much now because the gym's not, not operating as per normal, but you'll certainly be, be outdoors a lot. So make sure as part of your maintenance and as part of your exercise regime that you do on a weekly basis that running is a big part of it. At least three to four times a week, all right? Mix it up. Find some dirty big hills, do some hill sprints. Find a football oval. It's always good to run on grass or on even soft sand if you can, if you're near a beach. Um, but mix it up. So go for a long run, a bit of endurance. Then a couple of days later, do a little bit of a shorter run, okay? It will help you definitely with this test as well. Today, we're gonna to get you to line up here, facing that way. Um, we have the beep test on the speaker. Basically, what will happen is it'll talk you through different levels, okay? When you get to the end, you'll put your foot down. Your foot needs to go on or over the line, all right? The beep will go, beep, all right? So if we're running up from this end, we're running up, run, run, run. Foot goes on or over the line, pivot turn, get ready to go again, all right? Your foot needs to be on or over that line by the time the beep goes. If you don't make it in time, then you're obviously going too slow. And that means that you need to speed up a bit. We'll give you one opportunity, if you miss that line, to fix it at the other end. If you don't fix it, then unfortunately you fail the test. Does everyone understand that? So foot on or over the line. You don't need to come half a metre over the line. Your foot just needs to tag that line. Don't make it any harder for yourself, all right? So foot down, pivot turn, running back, run, 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 run. The way I like to do it is I put my other foot down at the other end. Pivot turn, running back. All right, so you basically just right to left, right to left. You get yourself into a rhythm. Everyone got it? If for some reason you feel lightheaded, nauseous, something happens, and it can happen to the fittest people in the world, just pop your hand up if you need assistance. 
If you need to come off the court, just be mindful of everyone else, just come over to the side of the court, all right? Don't race the beep, all right? I don't want to see people coming up, foot down, turn, run. You have to wait for that beep, all right? It's important. Do not race the beep. Any questions? You must get to level 7.1. That is the pass mark. Anything less than that, will, that will be deemed as a fail today. All right? We will let you keep going past 7.1 today. If you're adhering to the um, test conditions and you're doing the right thing and you're still touching the lines and you're still making the line in time, we'll let you keep going. We're not going to, you know, stay here till you get to 15 or anything like that, um, but obviously to a reasonable level, around the 10s or so. I'm sure there's a couple of you who'll, who'll be able to smash it today. All right, what you've got to remember is you've got to keep your breathing. Just get yourself into that rhythm, keep your breathing going, in through the nose, out through the mouth, get yourself into that rhythm, all right? Get yourself into that rhythm with your feet and just concentrate on the task at hand. Getting to that end, by the time the beep goes, getting back to the other end, the same thing, all right? There's no problem if you want to yell out a little bit and help your neighbour in terms of like giving them a little bit of verbal um, reinforcement, that's a good thing. All right, it's a team effort. Policing's a team effort. And you will have seen that today. You've obviously been working in teams. So if you want to do that and, and help each other along, it's, it's a good thing to see. Anyone got any questions? Well, that's the end of our physical capacity testing for today. I really hope that it's given you a, a better insight into what we expect on one of these testing days. And it's probably also shown you a little bit about how, what the applicants go through on a physical capacity testing day. They're all going back now to police headquarters to do the psychometric testing, which is the second half of, these, of this day. And then once they've completed that, they'll be finished. As you may have seen uh, throughout this video, some people did fail. So those people have been given some training programs to take home and some advice from one of the, some of the instructors here about how they can actually uh, do better at the certain tests that they failed. So again, if any of you have any questions, you can always ring our 1800 222 122 phone number or go on and have a look at the videos that we have, have up on our website that show you exactly what the testing's about. Um, each of those, there's six of those individual videos and they will give you an intricate idea about each of the tests. I can't stress enough how important it is for you to keep up your fitness. You need to be ensuring that you are doing planks, hovers, push-ups, sit-ups, running, anything that is going to make your score better on the day that you come and do your physical testing. It's really important. And it only gets harder when you get to the police academy. So do yourselves a favour, make sure you keep up your training, make sure you keep up your running, very, very important. And if you've got any questions, you can speak to your case manager or you can ring the branch. Enjoy your weekend, get out there and train, and we'll see you at the next physical capacity testing day. Thank you.